Okay, question 141 leak code, link list cycle. Given head, the head of a link list, determine if the link list has a cycle in it. There is a cycle in a link list if there is some node in the list that can be reached again by continuously following the next pointer. Internally, POS is used to denote the index of the node that tails next pointer is connected to. Note that POS is not passed as a parameter. Return true if there is a cycle in the linked list, otherwise return false. Firstly, it would be a good idea to discuss what a linked list is. So a linked list is a linear data structure with each element in the linked list being a separate object linked together by a reference field. And that reference field is the next pointer. And the benefit of this is it can be stored sequentially within space. So it reduces the space complexity. Whereas you've got an array, for example, which is stored as a contiguous block in memory. So it means that you can look up any value within that array very fast because it's stored in a contiguous block. So let's just look at this example. So the first example, we've got three, two, zero, four, and then four's next pointer is pointing back to two. So there is a cycle here. So we need to determine whether that cycle really exists. So how do we do that? Well, we've got a next pointer, which is pointing, and then four is pointing back to two. The way we could do this is we could use an algorithm known as the tortoise and hare algorithm, or we could just denote it as fast and slow pointer. So let's say, we started at the beginning, we have a fast and a slow pointer. Now, if there's a cycle and the fast pointer is jumping two at a time and the slow pointer is only jumping one at a time, at some point in the future, fast and slow are gonna reach the same point. So a nice analogy for this is say we have a track. We have two runners, we have slow runner and we have fast runner. The fast runner is gonna run twice as fast as the slow runner. So say the fast runner runs an entire lap, the slow runner is only going to run half a lap. So this is the outcome after the first lap that the fast runner runs. Now the next lap of the fast runner is gonna end up like this. So the slow runner and the fast runner have met up again. And that is exactly what we're trying to implement here. So with the fast pointer and the slow pointer, as we said, the fast pointer is gonna go twice as fast. So after the first jump, the fast pointer is going to be here slow pointer is going to be here. After the second jump, fast pointer is going to be here and slow pointer is going to be here. And after the third jump, fast pointer is going to be here and slow pointer is going to be here. So they've met up again. So the time complexity for this algorithm is going to be O of N. That is in the case of both if there is a cycle and if there isn't a cycle. So if there isn't a cycle, we're just going to be looping through this entire linked list once. If there is a cycle, we're going to be looping through it a number of iterations. So, so the time complexity is essentially O n plus k, which simplifies to O n in space is O one complexity. So first things first, if head is undefined, we just want to return false. Let's cover that edge case. Then we need to declare the fast and the slow variables, and we're going to make sure that they're equal to the head. And then while fast is available, or while fast is true, we only need to take care of fast because the fast pointer is always going to be ahead of the slow, so we don't really need to put slow within the while loop here. If fast.next is undefined, then we return false because we've reached the end of the linked list and there is no cycle because there's nowhere else for the fast pointer to go. Else. If we haven't reached the end, we increment fast and we make sure that it increments by two jumps and we increment slow and make sure that slow increments by one. And remember, we're using slow here, which we've set as head as a reference to head and fast here as a reference to head as well. We're not changing head at all. And then if fast is equal to slow at some point in the future, we return true because that states that we have a linked list cycle. And then we can return false if we get nothing back from that. And finally, we can submit this. So let's run this code, see if it's worked. Okay, so it looks like it's worked. And there you have it.